Good morning everyone, I hope you're all well. It's a Thursday morning. I've just sat down at my desk. I'm scheduling this Sunday's video. I've got a pretty chilled day today. I've got to do one job for Instagram. I thought for today's vlog, I would show you what's in our fridge. If I've ever done it, then I haven't done it for years. And I feel like whenever you watch like a video of what's in my fridge, it's really organized, really like pre-planned. They've got all the like healthy stuff in to make it look like they always eat healthy. And I literally just decided this morning to do this. So it's totally like real, authentic, has not been planned. The fridge has not been cleaned. It's just like a genuine look into what our fridge looks like midweek. So I thought you guys might like that. How have you all been? Write in the comments how you are. I'd love to hear from you. This weekend, Rich and I are going to Suffolk to stay with his parents. We're gonna to go to the beach. We're gonna take Gray to this cute little farm. So that'll be really nice. I need to pack actually at some point for that. Tonight I'm going to my friend Deb's flat and we're gonna make some pottery together, which would be lovely. And that's kind of all that's going on in my life at the moment. I'm gonna get on with scheduling this video and then I'll take you down to the kitchen. I'm wearing this very loose dress today, which is from Zara, which I've realized is like the perfect house dress. House dress is like this category of clothing that I don't know why I haven't got behind like sooner, especially in the summer. It's just loose, airy, comfortable. I wore it out the other night as well, so it is nice to wear out, but also just like perfect when you are around the house and you don't want to be wearing jeans. Okay, let's go downstairs. This is our kitchen. You guys know it well. It's a mess, so I'm not gonna show you properly. I know I'm gonna get lots of questions. Why does your fridge door open the wrong way round? <laughs> we have a double larder here, and we have a single fridge here, like a 70, 30 fridge freezer. No, there is nowhere else to put a freezer. We don't have a big enough shed. We don't have a basement, anything like that. Um, often, I think people from America have their freezers somewhere else. So I get a lot of comments about that, but you can't really do that in our house. The reason the fridge door opens this way around is because it couldn't open into the wall um, because this would have stopped it opening wide enough so the drawers couldn't open. It really doesn't bother me. Like it's just something we've got used to. But as I've said on here before, I think one of my biggest renovation regrets, which my mum did warn us of is we should have got a double fridge and a single larder. I was just too excited by the larder. Look how gorgeous it is. Our kitchen is from Herringbone Kitchens. I just, I loved the double larder. And we do have a lot of stuff, it is full. Um, it's crazy, our kitchen looks big, but there's actually not huge amounts of storage because there aren't like any massive tool cabinets. We kind of keep everything in these drawers here. Anyway, I'm going to get a quote. It's something we're going to look into possibly changing, getting a double fridge freezer and a single larder because I think that would be better now that we have a kid and when we have more kids, hopefully in the future. So this is the fridge. Let's go inside. Okay, as I said, we have not prepped. I've not prepped for this video at all. So there's all kinds of stuff in here and I'm just going to like pull stuff out and show you guys um, the reality of what is in our fridge on a Thursday. We get HelloFresh on Sundays and we get an Ocado delivery on a Tuesday evening. So it should be like quite well stocked. Let me show you inside first. I wish I was one of those people that had a really tidy fridge, but I just don't. Like I've got a lazy Susan, this is handy. Um, but other than that, it's a bit of a mess. We tried to put like meat and fish at the bottom. We tried to have some kind of order, but it doesn't, it doesn't really last, I have to say. Okay, let's look at the door first of all. So this is skimmed milk because I have this with my tea and this is from Milk and More. They deliver our milk and our eggs and also they deliver this milk which is the Oatly Barista Edition and we always get the Barista Edition. I don't know if this is going to be controversial. If you have like crazy passionate opinions on baby's milk, don't comment, but we give Grey oat milk in the morning and then in the evening we give her whole milk, which is why we have these two. And me and Rich also have oat milk in our coffee. So we have a lot of Oatly Barista edition um, because that's got the, the good amount of calcium in it, the Barista edition. This is from our Ocado shop. That's a pineapple juice. Definitely my favorite like bottled juice. 
if I ever have to pick. Love a pineapple juice. This is prune juice. That's for grey. I will not go into it. We have been having issues recently. Poor thing is now on medication. This is a spiced apricot tagine paste. Probably too old and needs to be thrown away. Same with the tamarind paste. I hate how these pastes, like you open them, you only need a bit and then, and then they're gonna go off, aren't they? That's a lime juice. Soya sauce, that's our favorite one. We've also got like a teriyaki. Oh my God, what's even behind here? Something's fallen down. We've got fish sauce and we've got some maple syrup, which we tend to use like porridge and pancakes and stuff. I will never be without these sauces. I use them a lot for cooking. What's up here? Some rosemary. Uh, oh. God, that just needs to go. That's a lemon. We've got some tomato um, puree, mustard, tom yum paste for soup. That's definitely gonna be off. A yellow curry paste, that's a really good one actually. And also a red curry paste. We have butter, unsalted for gray, lightly salted for us. And then at the top here, we've got some parmesan. Um, also a little random bit of ginger that's gone moldy. That's our door. By the way, if you guys have any tips for organizing your fridge, feel free to leave them. I'm up for it. Fridge needs a clean ASAP. Right, bottom drawer. And this is where I wish we had a bigger fridge because it's just so hard to keep everything in here. We try to take stuff out of plastic, if we remember, because I think it goes off quicker. Uh, here are some, oh, I need to order some like reusable or like brown bags. We got some reusable salvage bags, but they weren't great if I'm honest. Here are some cherry tomatoes that Rich and Gray picked when they went to a pick your own farm. We've always got like red peppers, spring onions. We've got some asparagus, courgette. We use courgette a lot. Some um, corn, corn on the cob. Gray loves those. Bag of salad. Oh, Gray also loves uh, rainbow carrots. So Rich likes to buy those. Broccoli. Oh, we've got an aubergine. Love an aubergine, so easy to use in like sauces or curries. And then we've also got some cherry tomatoes in there. Those are from the green grocer. These I just picked up when I went into a shop the other day. We don't often get them. They're from Biona, which is a brand I absolutely love. It's where we get our spelt pasta from. These are the quinoa mini burgers. I thought Gray would like those. We've got some mints from the butchers uh, because we're making a bolognese this weekend in Suffolk. Spinach, we use spinach a lot in like omelettes for grey or pasta sauces or sandwiches. A lot of spinach gets eaten in this house. What is this? Elderflower cordial. We must have had people over or something. That seems a bit fancy. We've got a couple of orange juices. Don't know why we have two. I think I probably didn't finish the one from last week before this week's Ocado arrived. Um, this is where we keep all of our garlic. We've got an avocado. These, oh my God, I love these. These are the sweet potato falafels from Waitrose. Um, they are so, so yummy. I literally could eat so many of those. Um, where can I put them while I show you? Love a tomato mascarpone sauce. I used to eat this all the time as a kid, so I tend to give it to Grace sometimes. I also just like it when I'm having pasta. And we also get a burrata once a week, which seems a bit fancy, but it's just so handy for like putting in salads and stuff. This is some leftover pasta um, from yesterday. My mum actually had great. My mum uses these hilarious like shower caps. I mean, they're great actually, they're reusable. It's like reusable cling film. So that's some leftover pasta from yesterday. And this is some leftover rice and fish that I gave her for lunch. I don't think you can really reheat rice, but I think we'll give that to her for lunch today. Actually, I'm gonna take it out so it can just get to like room temperature. Rich can give that to her for lunch today. We always have some like grated cheese. Um, we've also just got like a block of cheese as well. Again, she has that in pasta, omelets. Like we just tend to use it all the time. Here are some like random leftover fruit. So we've got some blueberries in there. What is in there? That looks like some sauce. I'm gonna get rid of that. We've got a big tub of flora. I don't really tend to eat butter. I eat flora most of the time. If I'm having like raisin toast or something, I'll put flora on it. Um, this is Rich's chocolate, ombar, cocoa, milk, cacao. That's what he will have. I've got two boxes of Kinder. I love these. I love these because that's all I need in the evening. One little bar of chocolate and I just love it. So I tend to have like one of those in the evening. We've got some plums. We've got some peaches. These are really sweet. And in here, in this Tupperware, we've got blackberries, strawberries, and raspberries that Graham 
Rich picked at the farm last week. Up here, we've got some Greek style natural yogurt. Rachel's is a nice brand. We're not too fussy, but that's one that we tend to get quite often. Some kefir coconut. I think that's for Rich, but maybe he gives some to Gray sometimes. These, oh my God. If you're Jewish, you'll know. Sweet cucumber sandwich slices. Uh, pickled cucumbers, basically. They look like this. They're the most delicious thing ever. I feel like I've had them in my family fridge my whole life. What's in here? Half an onion, eggs, ketchup, which like annoyingly doesn't really fit anywhere else. And then on our Lazy Susan, we've got some jam, some pickle, some pesto pasta sauce, uh, balsamic glaze, lemon juice, mustard. Oh, we do have Lazy Ginger. Sometimes we have lazy garlic. Yeah, there's a lazy garlic there as well, which is a bit a bit naughty. Um, we tend to use fresh most of the time, but if we're like quickly cooking something up, it is quite handy to have. And then on the top, we have Gray's yogurts. We really like these ones because they've just got like no nasties in it, but it's whole milk, uh, yogurt and fruit basically. So we've got a few different of those up there. <laughs> we've got a syrup of fig, again, we don't need to talk about Grey's bowels in this video. There seems to be more kefir yogurt up there. And at the back, which is like sourdough um, starter. Sriracha, which is just the best spicy sauce ever. Uh, chocolate, this is like hot chocolate that I got um, for my small brands IGTV. Mayonnaise and some more soy sauce. Wow, I don't think I've ever gone through the entire contents of my fridge. I feel like I'm exposing myself for judgment here. So go on, tell me, how was it? How does my fridge compare to yours? What do I need to change? Did you discover anything new? Is there anything that you cannot believe that I don't have in my fridge that I need to have in my fridge? I love seeing inside other people's, so I hope you found that interesting. Rich did a funny Instagram saying, guess whose peanut butter is whose out of this lineup. <laughs> I think everyone guessed correctly. This is Grey's because it's got low salt. This is Rich's because he likes it the best. And this is mine because it's full of sugar and it tastes delicious. <laughs> also, just while we're talking food, I bought these yesterday in a health food shop, Mr. Organic's Orange Biscuits with Cocoa Beans. They are so yum. Also, Gray like, had one and also loved it. Really nice. They're like not sickly sweet. My lips are a little bit sore today. So random. Haven't used anything new. No idea, completely out of the blue. Anyway, put some cream on so hopefully they'll feel better soon. I've just realized that, I don't know if it's the next video you'll see, maybe the one after that, but I'm gonna have new teeth very soon. I think in, in either my next video or the one after. I've spoken about this in previous videos, but I am getting veneers. Oof, I'm so nervous. I'm just so nervous. I never really get any sort of like cosmetic stuff like that. And it's so permanent, but actually the first round like the first veneers i get are temporary and you have like a two week period where you can go and see your friends and like if i wanted to i could come online and ask people's opinions not sure i'll do that but i'll speak to friends and family and if they think like oh they don't see you or this is wrong like they can change them so that's great but it's permanent in way in a way that like my teeth underneath will be shaved down not to little pegs but they will be shaved down enough so that the veneers can go on top without them like sticking out and like being really big in my mouth I'm nervous because it's permanent, but I'm also so excited and I already feel like I'm gonna regret not doing it earlier. But it's only really been the last year or two that I've had this like terrible staining on my teeth. I look back at like photos from, you know, when I went on that Ibiza trip with Anna, Mark and Rich and like my teeth just looked so fine. Like I've never loved the shape of them, but they were fine. They had slight ridges on, but this staining has just like totally ruined all my confidence. I feel like I never wanna smile on photos or like show my teeth in videos. I'm really insecure about it. So although it's like frustrating, like that this has happened to my teeth, I just need to like move forward, do the thing I know that is gonna help give me confidence. And I think I'll love it when it's done. I'm just scared about like, the process and I'm scared about how permanent it is. And there's so many things I'm like nervous about, but also really excited. So that's gonna be happening soon in case you see me on Instagram and you're like, oh, her teeth look different. We're gonna get the staining removed so they won't have staining anymore. And then whilst we're doing it, she's gonna make them like a little bit narrower just because my teeth like almost fan out. They're wider at the bottom than they are at the top. We're gonna keep them big because they suit my face, but just make them a little bit slimmer, a little bit more feminine. 
Hopefully it won't change my face too much and I'll still look like me. And I'm not gonna get them like Simon Cowell white, don't worry. So I'm gonna sign off from this video, but I'll see you guys again next week for another vlog. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I'm always posting stories and photos and IGTV and reels. So I can chat to you guys over on Instagram. Thanks for watching, see you soon.